Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this video, we will be learning how to create table or schema. So table and schema are equivalent terms. Okay, we can use table or schema. So as we have already learned that the, these tables are inside a database. Okay, so if this is a database for my whole application, then we will have multiple tables. Okay, we'll have multiple tables. Fine. And among these tables we will have certain relations fine so these tables we can only create if we have database already created right so database we have created in our last lecture in this lecture we will be creating tables okay so to create table we pass command as tab create table table name okay so this is name of the table it will be replaced by name of the table then attribute so let's say in a table or in a schema we have various attribute like name roll number so these are attributes so we will pass attribute okay so let's say this is name then data type so data type we have already learned if it is name we will pass where care or care okay and then integrity constraints so maybe uh, what do you want to specify about this attribute let's say i want name to be not null then we will specify not null if it is roll number then we will specify unique because roll number has to be unique so fine so this is how we create table now this is integrity constraint so this is important we have to understand this so integrity constraint as name suggests it is a constraint that is restriction over some attribute to ensure integrity okay so basically what it does it ensures accuracy and consistency of the data okay so that is integrity constraint now we have various integrity constraint which we need to study so the first one which we have just seen here while doing this is not null so we just talked about it so let's start with not null so this is clear from the name itself that we are specifying for attribute that the value of that particular attribute cannot be null okay so we are specifying that value of that attribute cannot be null so the next constraint is default so what it does is basically we use default to specify a default value for some attribute for example while creating schema if we are storing gender and of course it will be data type of character let's say care and we are just storing m or f okay then in that case maybe we can specify as default value so we can specify default as f or m okay so what it will do if for a particular record we are not specifying the value of gender then by default it will store f for that record okay so that's how we specify default value for attribute using this constraint similarly unique is also used to specify that the value of attribute will be unique throughout the schema okay so let's say when I'm uh, creating a schema of student then I would like to have roll number as unique field okay so what unique does it specifies that value of two rows for the attribute must be different okay now next one is primary key so while creating schema we can specify that what will be our primary key so this is another constraint so primary key specifies that this attribute will be primary key of the schema okay similarly we also have foreign key so this specifies that this key will be used as foreign key that is this this particular constraint is used to enforce referential integrity okay so it enforces enforces 
referential integrity. Now there comes an obvious question that what one should be doing once this foreign key constraint is violated. Okay, so foreign key, the, I mean the concept of foreign key we have already studied in database design so I need not to repeat. I mean obviously we understand that let's say we already have a base table and let's say I'm storing uh, country ID okay country ID and then name fine so country ID 1, 2 here we have India, US fine and so on and now whenever we are using this instead of writing country name we will use country ID okay and this ID this ID will be referring to this table okay so this is how foreign key works we have already understood these things so if you have any doubt you can refer those lectures under database design section now here we have to understand let's say somebody is deleting this record that is country ID 1 and India then what will happen okay if some record in another table let's say this is movie and this is referring this first record of country 1 and India then what will happen so we have to also specify what needs to be done when referred record is deleted okay so in that case we have three options so we have three options that is set null set default or cascade okay so we can specify any one of these three so set null is when let's say we have two tables and let's say this one is referring to this record okay and what I'm saying is we have we can come to this condition in two cases that is this record is either being deleted or being updated okay so if it is being deleted then what we will do is we will set this as we will set this as null okay so according to first option we will set the field as null now in the second case what we will do is if for this attribute if for this attribute we have we have some uh, default value then in this case we will set referring attribute as default okay so whatever default value is specified we will set this value to that okay now we have cascade cascade is let's say this record is deleted okay then what we will do is we will also delete the referring record okay so if this is deleted we will also delete this okay so we have three options fine now let's see an example 